Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting and challenging problem from rational equations. The given equation is x square over x plus 1 whole square plus 5 over x plus 1 equal to 6 over x square. I will demonstrate two different methods and unique methods also to solve this problem. So let me begin this video by writing my method number 1 and I will write first of all domain of the equation. So you can see x plus 1 is in the denominator and x is also in the denominator. So we will exempt straight away x cannot be equal to 0 and negative 1. So I will multiply both sides first x square times x plus 1 whole square both sides. We can multiply because it is non-zero. X cannot be zero and it x cannot be negative one. So let me do it. Now cancel these two terms. X square x square will be over. Now let's expand. Left hand side, the very first term we will have x plus one whole square will be cancelled out. X square times x square x power four. Then you can see five would be there with x square times x plus one. And right hand side we will have 6 times x plus 1 whole square. Done. Now this is one quadratic equation. Anyone can see. I will convert this equation into quadratics. I will take all the term to RHS first. So 6 times x plus 1 whole square minus 5 x square times x plus 1 minus x power 4 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic in x plus 1. If I will say then you will understand see this is our variable term. So what is left that is our ABC. Let me write here capital A 6 if it is quadratic in x plus 1 then capital B as per quadratic formula minus 5x square and capital C I can write minus x power 4. Now I know the formula of quadratic that is I will write x plus 1 equal to formula is minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Let's apply. So in place of b I will write minus 5x square. So this will become 5x square plus minus under the root b square. So minus will become plus 25 x power 4 minus 4 ac. So minus times minus c is negative. So it will become plus 6 times 4 is 24. And c is x power 4 divided by a is 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. Now 25 x power 4 plus 24 x power 4. 49. So I will write 5 x square plus minus square root 49 x power 4 and overall I will divide with 12. Let me put brackets. Okay. Now 49 square root we know that is 7 x power 4 will come out as x square. So it will become 5 x square plus minus 7 x square over 12 and this is our RHS. Left hand side Remember, this is not x, it is x plus 1 because this equation was quadratic in x plus 1. Let's find out our solutions. So I will write x plus 1 equal to 5x, let me write one time, 5x square plus minus 7x square over 12. Okay, once I will take plus sign in between, then I will write 12x square over 12 and if I will consider the sign negative then minus 2x square over 12. So I can write x plus 1 is equal to either x square or minus x square over 6. Now task is I guess easy. I will frame two equations. So let me consider first part that is x plus 1 is equal to x square. And second x plus 1 is equal to minus x square over 6. So I will frame two quadratic equations. First one is 
x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. And second quadratic, if I will write, then I will write x square plus 6x plus 6 equal to 0. Done. Let's apply quadratic formula quickly. x is equal to minus b, so 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Done. So here we are having two real solutions, 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. Done. Now second quadratic equation. x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So I will write 2. 36 minus 24 is 12. And root 12 is 2 root 3 I will write. So minus 6 plus minus 2 root 3 over 2. So our answer is there. That is minus 3 plus minus root 3. Now I will write our four solutions of this equation. Let me write here. X is equal to, it is already written over there. X is equal to 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. And the other two minus 3 plus minus square root 3. That is our fourth solution. So let us consider method number 2. That is also very, very interesting method. I will write my quartic equation first. So that equation was x power 4 plus 5x square times x plus 1 equal to 6 times x plus 1 whole square. Now I will use our favorite substitution method. So what I will give substitution? Let x square is equal to a and x plus 1 is equal to b. See what will happen. So this will become a square plus 5 a b equal to 6 b square. Instead of this quartic, I can write equation like this. Now I will add both sides a b algebraic manipulation. So I will write a square plus 6 a b. I added a b. So I need to add a b here also. Now consider common which we can. So a is common in bracket a plus 6 b. Right hand side, b is common. So in bracket a plus 6b. Take all the term to LHS and take common also. So I can write a plus 6b in one bracket and a minus b in second bracket equal to 0. Now a equal to minus 6b. That is our one quadratic equation. And a is equal to b. It will give us second quadratic equation. So let me frame, let me put the value of a and b back. a will be x square is equal to minus 6x plus 1. b was x plus 1, a was x square. Let us put over here. So I will write x square is equal to x plus 1. Identical equations you will have. x square plus 6x plus 6 equal to 0. And second equation is x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. Once you will solve x square, I am not going to solve completely because we have already solved this one. Let me write answer directly for this quadratic. Minus 3 plus minus square root 3. And from the second quadratic equation which was x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. From here we were getting 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care. Good luck.